Alexa, open Hey Teddy. We introduce Hi, Hey Teddy, Teddy, conversational test-driven development for physical computing. In this video, we will introduce Hey Teddy's features: simple commands, debugging commands, customization and exporting code. Also, a raw video to reflect an actual experience. Finally, we will show example circuits made using Hey Teddy. Let's see how these commands work. Right high pin ten. I talk to the Arduino. Right high the pin ten. The system allows to users to speak naturally. Hey right Teddy is capable of automatically ten. inferring the right meaning of a command ten. even if the parameters are presented ten. out of order. Right in low. cases of what ambiguous commands, Hey ten. Teddy will ask for a clarification right and additional ten. details. Read pin 3. Analog or digital? Analog. Here is the value of pin 3 on the screen. Pass data from analog pin 3 to pin 10. I talked to the Arduino. Pass data from pin 3 to pin 10. Pass data from analog pin 3 to pin 7. Sorry, you can pass analog data only to an analog target pin. Please give the correct instructions. If pin 3 is less than 50, then write high to pin 7. Pulse pin 7. What is the interval? 1 second. How many times to repeat? 3 times. Talk to the Arduino. Pulse pin 7 for 1 second 3 times. Do after 5 seconds. After 5 seconds, what is the desired action? Right high pin 7. How to use motor? Here is an example of using a motor. First, you need to connect the brown color wire of the motor to the ground rail on the breadboard. Second, Connect the orange color wire to an analog output pin on the Arduino. There are six analog output pins on the right side of the Arduino. Last, connect the red color wire of the motor to power rail on the breadboard. Now let's find out about debugging commands. Let's check the motor is working. Tell me the pin number of Arduino you use. 10. Now, I'm writing the output pin. Does the motor move? No. How about checking wires for ground? Voltage and output? The red is for voltage, the dark brown is for ground add, and the orange is for output. Are you ready to check again? Tell me the pin number of Arduino you use. 10. How to use wind sensor? Before we move on, do you want me to check the hardware is properly installed and working? Yes. Let's check the motor is working. Customization. Users can customize the behavior of additional components using the graphic user interface. Exporting code when done making a project with Hey Teddy, users can export final interaction code to Arduino. We prepared a raw demo to reflect the actual experience of working with Hey Teddy. Alexa, welcome Hey Teddy. Hi, this is Hey Teddy. How can I use this sensor? Here is an example of using a flex sensor. First, you need to place a flex sensor on the breadboard. Next, put a 10 kilo ohms resistor beside the black wire of the sensor. Then, wire from the resistor's leg, which is connected to the sensor to an analog input pin of Arduino. There are six analog input pins on the left side of the Arduino. After that, 
Connect the red wire at the sensor to the power rail on the breadboard. Last, connect the wire from another leg of the resistor to the ground rail on the breadboard. Last step. How can I use beam sensor? Before we move on, do you want me to check the hardware is properly installed and working? Yes. Let's check the flex sensor is working. Tell me the analog input pin number of Arduino you used. One. Now, I'm reading the input pin to see the value of the input. Is the value of pin 1 changing when you change the input? Yes. Next. Here is an example of using an anemometer. First, you need to connect the ground pin of the sensor to the ground rail on the breadboard. Second, connect the out pin to an analog input pin on the Arduino. There are six analog input pins on the left side of the Arduino. Last, connect the DCC pin of the sensor to power rail on the breadboard. Alexa. Wait. Okay, I will wait. Next. Right hand pin 11. I talked to the Arduino, right hand to pin 11. If pin 1 is less than 150. I talked to the Arduino, if pin 1 is less than 150, then? Right hand pin 11. I talked to the Arduino, then right hard to pin 11. If pin 2 is greater than 300. I talked to the Arduino, if pin 2 is greater than 300, then? Right row pin 11. I talked to the Arduino, then right low to pin 11. Next. Exit. Application. Users can freely combine components and build interactive circuits with Hey Teddy. Here are some examples. With the guide of Hey Teddy, users can successfully build circuits.